John Draper, better known as Captain Crunch, the father uh, is what he's known of, of hacking. Uh, and over the past 40 plus years, John has helped an enormous list of individuals, mostly in the tech and hacking world and corporations, contributing to the foundations uh, of uh, many gadgets we have today. He also has uh, called President Nixon to tell him Los Angeles was running out of toilet paper. Known as Captain Crunch for his legendary phone uh, freaking, Draper has always been driven by passion and not money. I'm on the same page right there. The point was not to make free calls, but to explore and learn from the phone company's rich and complicated system. Despite his many contributions to companies such as Apple, where he wrote the first word processor called Easy Writer for the Apple II, Crunch is not a wealthy man. And WebCrunchers.com, WebCrunchers.com is his website. And uh, John, and I'm very honored to have him, uh, wanted to come on the show today, and we really appreciate him reaching out to us through his people uh, to come on and uh, a talk about his health, and uh, but more importantly, the whole state of the world uh, to talk about Edward Snowden. We're going to get into the new FBI raid on uh, someone they believe was leaking information to WikiLeaks. They're basically using Snowden as a front man or as a uh, figurehead uh, for other whistleblowers. Um, but the FBI is out there after them right now. I say release it all. So we're honored to have Captain Crunch uh, on with us. If I got into all of his exploits, we'd never have any uh, time here today. So we'll go right to him. John, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much for uh, having me. There's so much to talk about. Where do you want to begin? Well, I want to talk a little bit about uh, an incident that took place. Uh, I was actually working at a contracting gig in uh, in Bangkok, Thailand, and in Koh Phangan, where I was developing some software relating to the telecom telecom uh, areas in that in that part of Asia. And uh, I had to come back to the states because I had a ruptured disc in my lower back that had gotten so bad that it was pinching my nerve making the pain so painful that i couldn't stand it um so when i got back uh within two days i was on my way to the hospital in an ambulance um a lot of doctors examined me they had they were skeptical that i was that bad and that i needed surgery Finally, one of the neurologists came into me and says, we're scheduling you for surgery on Sunday. And it was like two days away. Um, so um, I had a problem keeping my electronics plugged in so I can keep let the world know what was going on. But I was able to uh, get some volunteers to the hospital that got me some extra long power cables so I can power my iPad keep tracks, keep active in the blog, and let people know by uh, uh, entering my, my uh, web creatures blog on all of the things that happened. Basically what happened, if you go to my website, not my website actually, go to Facebook and look at my timeline, I actually posted in there a, uh, an x-ray of what they did to me. It was a nine hour surgery, it took, um, the doctors a lot of problems getting into where they needed to get to fix the problem but they were able to put four screws in my spine keeping it keeping it together they removed the discs in my lower back and replaced them with plastic ones uh, i've got to go back in for another surgery in another month where, where they put a kind of a cage around the uh, lower part of my spine better stability i'm recovered enough to be able to drive and walk Although I can't engage in any really active things like going to conferences and, you know, walking around and stuff. So I, I'm in the, in the process now of trying to raise money to cover my expenses. So let give you an idea of what my expenses are. Um, 
Well, Captain Crunch, you've done so much for freedom of speech, and you name it. We are going to call for all your great supporters to go to your blog and support you. You know, I wonder why Apple isn't supporting you when a lot of your technology is a foundation of what they did. For folks that don't aren't tech gurus and or, or techies and don't know how famous and important you are, you could hack the, the, the phone system computers and switches with your voice mimicking the tones by whistling into it. You didn't just use your little famous black box. Uh, tell folks about some of your exploits. Uh, yeah, okay. There was, um, I'll talk, well, I'll talk about what happened really at the, uh, how we happened to get a hold of the uh, White House um, CIA crisis hotline. <laughs> uh, I was just scanning Washington, D.C. There's 10,000 exchanges in Washington, D.C. There's a way of eliminating one-tenth uh, of that. Ten, actually, ten times that, so it's really only a thousand tries to get into the Washington, D.C. 800 system. I knew the prefix, and I knew how, how, the, how the numbers uh, were, uh, were uh, planned in the 800 system. So um, I just started scanning, and I got this number where this really rude guy answered. I asked him, I says, what company have I reached? I'm looking for XYZ company. And he says, this isn't the company. Get off this line. It was very rude to me, and it, it raised the flags. I said, "Who? what is this guy? It got my curiosity up. So uh, after a day or two, I went back in on the line again with the story that I was White Plains uh, for a tandem test switching system with the AT&T network, and we had a problem on the line. And we asked him, I said, what company have we reached? And he said, we've reached the White House CIA crisis hotline number. We said, well, we'll fix the problem as soon as we can. Thank you very much. That was, that was all I needed. Uh, once I got the number, uh, I found the uh, seven-digit equivalent of that number, which I needed to use for auto-verify. And I was able to sit on that line for a while and listen to calls coming in. Most of the calls coming in were encrypted or scrambled. So I said, wow, this is an interesting line. Oh, well, I... I was able to catch a call just as it got started uh, before they went before they turned on the encryption. What they do is they make direct contact first, then they encrypt the call. Uh, during one of the direct contacts, uh, I was able to hear what appeared to be a very important call going in there, and they said, "Olympus, please." In, in plain text, in plain English, uh, it was a code name for President Nixon. What came next was the encryption. So I couldn't hear anything that they were saying. Uh, then later on, uh, we decided to call that number. I was at a party in, New in L.A. and I was <laughs> upstairs. And all my and some phone freaks were downstairs, and they wanted I wanted some information from them, and I had to have something to trade. So I traded that number for the another number that I wanted. So they took that number, and I said I told them I says it's a, it's a CIA crisis hotline number. Olympus will get you President Nixon, and they says no, that that that's not true. I says, well, go ahead and call the number, but be have your story straight and be sure to call the number from an untraceable line. And so we were able to get uh, jump through a couple of hops to the number, and we got the person on the other end. We with a with an authoritative voice, we said, "Olympus, please." And uh, a voice came on that sounded like President Nixon, and. Uh, my friend grabbed the phone away from me and said, Sir, we have a crisis in Los Angeles. Sir, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> I love it. You didn't just prank call the president. You did it on the CIA crisis line. <laughs> the, the CIA crisis line was a special line they used to set up for calling in on rather important uh, issues. Yes, Russians are moving ICBMs.
<laughs> they're loading them onto rail cars, sir. They're moving them towards the Polish border. The physical capability of what I could do really scared a lot of people. I could get into the Autobahn network. That was the military telephone network. And for those that don't know, this is a great service to show how there's back doors and all these computers and the phone systems and uh, in all the tech. Because you talk about, they go, oh, you're conspiracy terrorists. This is a fact built into it so they can spy. And you are the guy that began to expose it day one. Yeah, the Pentagon didn't believe it. But I, uh, I was able to show them that... Uh, uh, a switch in Murphy Dome was able to forward forward and 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 pass a call to another another military switch. And of course, the telecoms, the corporations that built it, they all knew that. So that's why this is a corporate takeover. So, so getting back to Nixon and other things, they didn't come arrest you, right? I mean, they tried a few times. Instead, they figured out, hey, we should try to recruit this guy to really show us what's going on, and that kind of started the whole move towards recruiting hackers into the government, right? Well, kind of right, but the big thing that got everybody interested in the whole thing in the first place was the Esquire article. Steve Wozniak found a copy of the Esquire article on, on, on his coffee table at his home. I'll tell you what, stay there. I'm going to give you the floor and come back to talk about all the history you've been involved in, and then I've got to get into current stuff that's happening. Captain Crunch's view on the NSA, the Panopticon system, Big Brother, Edward Snowden, uh, and so much more coming up. But folks, you heard him. He needs your help. So if you appreciate all that Captain Crunch has done for liberty and freedom on the web, you need to give him some support, folks. And that's webcrunchers.com. Web Crunchers. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist light clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. Digestive health is key to wellness, and Pro-EM-1 is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a daily liquid probiotic that improves food absorption and supports weight loss by removing toxins from your system. Recommended by doctors, Pro-EM-1 is 100% natural, organic, non-GMO, wheat, soy, gluten, and dairy-free. Call us today at 888-611-8025 or visit ProEM1.com to save over $25 on your order. That's 888-611-8025 or P-R-O-E-M-1.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. In today's unstable environment, self-protection is critical. Civil unrest, riots, looting, it's happening now, right here in the United States. And your rights are at risk. If passed, H.R. 5344 would ban Level 3 and above body armor. KD Armor is standing up for you. We offer the most affordable Level 3 body armor on the market. KD Level 3 armor withstands pistol and rifle hits up to 762 NATO. Get yours at KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I-Armor.com. KD Armor, come and take it.
Warnings of an American collapse hit us nearly every day. Gear up while you still can with Infidel Body Armor. Don't spend between five and six hundred dollars. Infidel is available for just three seventy four ninety nine with free shipping within the U.S. Made in America and legal in all fifty states. Resist tyranny with Infidel Body Armor. Buy yours today at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Spelled I N F I D E L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. We the people grow cotton, wheat fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. I hear the train coming. It's rolling around. The You're listening to the Alex and Jones Show. The I'm Alex Jones, your host. The news websites are prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. Webcrunchers.com is John Draper's website. And we'll uh, tell you coming up a little bit later how you can go there and support him. He is the undisputed grand poobah, big kahuna granddaddy father of hacking undisputed and it's one of those niche things but a very important niche thing that the general public probably doesn't know who captain crunch is but to the hackers and that whole community out there there's a lot of uh, 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 going on right now uh, because he's such an interesting guy and such a trailblazer on so many fronts now i want to get into what's happening in modern times right now with you sir but you'd gotten up to the army the pentagon not believing that you were able to do this and then of course big investigations came out of that because the pentagon didn't know the telecoms had put in a system where they could spy on everybody, including foreign telecoms. So, uh, John Draper, Captain Crunch, please continue. Okay, well, as I, as I was stationed, I was stationed up at Indian Mountain Air Force Station, Alaska, and I had to do a one-year stint up there. And during my time up there, I had lots and lots of time. It didn't take me long to figure out how to get into the Audubon system to make free phone calls home. And they, they encouraged you to do that because for morale purposes and things like that, they actually had a special day set up where people could make calls over the Audubon just for personal use. And so uh, as I was experimenting around, uh, being back home and on the, on the private commercial network, there's a, uh, there's a switch up there that uh, was passing Audubon calls because it was being used for both commercial and also military use. And they didn't believe it. Uh, and so uh, then Adam Bauman in the book, uh, Adam was featured as, uh, I believe, he was the one who actually snitched on me. Um, his actual name, I'm going to get it for you in a minute here. Because I want people to know who he is. <laughs> um, his name is, uh, oh boy, come on, there would be nice. Uh, it's Sheridan. So if you read the book, Exploding the Phone, and they, and they refer to a person, Sheridan, he is the FBI informant that uh, got really good friendly with me and was able to uh, inform the FBI of these things. And he tried to do it, and the FBI tried to do the Audubon. They were unable to do it. Uh, only I was able to, because it took a lot of finesse to be able to do it, because you had to be very, you had to be very careful with the level of the tones. The tones had to be really, really accurate. But I was able to slip the tones through this switch, uh, which gave me direct access to the military Audubon network. And from there, I could do anything. I could, I could do priority interrupt calls. I could, I could do a, a flash override in the NORAD and cause a few heads to roll. Um, and so and the, the, these, these things existed. And I, and I did my very best to try to explain to the FBI that these things existed, but they just didn't believe me. Uh, the, 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 the opportunity that I had to talk to the FBI was during my plea arrangement. Uh, I was uh, I was basically forced to tell the FBI what I did and everything that I did, and so they rented a room inside San Francisco Hotel, and I I appeared, 
<clears throat> they had about four or five agents in there, including some security experts. And they contacted the Pentagon, and the Pentagon actually could not figure out that, how that could be done. Uh, Rachel, in the, in the book uh, Exploding the Phone, whose real name is Adam Bauman, was uh, the person who, uh, who tried and was uh, unable to do it, despite the fact they had all the equipment. So going on to encryption and protection and privacy and things like that, I certainly believe people should use encryption for any kind of communication that they use. Uh, there's a program called PGP or GPP, your GPG. You can download it on the net. You can install it in your browser. And if you install it in your browser, your browser will, uh, will have a, a little button there that says encrypt your message. So just with both one button and uh, with uh, Google Chrome, and Gmail, you can encrypt your mail relatively easily. It's a little bit, a little bit difficult to install, but it works quite well once it gets, once it gets going. Well, Captain so Crunch, we've got a long 18-minute segment coming up, and I want to cover the waterfront with you because my mind is racing with all the questions I, you know, could ask you. Obviously, they've made films about you; they're making more. Uh, I'm told, uh, but it's just there's so much to talk about. I want to get into some more of your background, but then I want to accelerate into FBI reportedly raids home of Second Snowden. Contractor could face federal charges. I want to get your view on the fact that the NSA told us they weren't spying on us, when of course they've been spying pretty much all along, but now they're spying on people for their political views. Stay with us. We're on the Morse Return. And that's weeknight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWars Nightly News, PrisonPlanet.tv. John Draper. The infamous, the famous Captain Crunch, the father of hacking, that could hack into computer systems with his whistles and with computers, with primitive computers, is our guest. He helped launch much of what you see at Apple today. And he's had his back basically rebuilt. He's uh, broke. He needs everybody's uh, help. You can go to his uh, site, webcrunchers.com, or you can also go to his Facebook uh, that's linked there on the site, facebook.com forward slash JD Crunchman. And you can uh, help him out there. And I sure hope that if it's 20, 30 years from now, my back's destroyed, I'm broke, and I'm going on air talking about all I've done. People would help and support me. And you can see uh, Captain Crunch right there with the founders of Apple. And then you can go to his site at uh, the Crunch site and uh, see him in the hospital and all he's going through right now. So I'm glad that uh, he got in touch with us uh, through some of the other folks out there. And it, it was so many good white hat hackers have helped us with government attacks, foreign government attacks, uh, identifying things, tracing people that have attacked us. We really just get amazing information. It's almost pearls before swine though. And I'm the chief pig here because I'm not a tech guy. I just study the general systems and how they work. I know what they're doing. I have great knowledge about the overall plan. Um, but when it gets down to the meat and potatoes and using it all, I'm like a caveman trying to fly a uh, space shuttle. But John Draper is our guest. We're going to go back to him in just a moment. We have a big special running that's going to end next week at InfoWarsStore.com and InfoWarsLife.com. 5% off all the discounts that are already there on cutting edge supplements that I and others are using to boost our natural immunity and our body's natural defenses. I think with all going on in the world, the superbugs, MRSA, you name it, uh, you're insane. I mean, if you're not taking DNA force, if you're not taking the oxy powder, if you're not taking Survival Shield X2, Fluoride Shield, uh, all of this, when you detox, it gives your body a boosted immune system. I still don't look like a movie star like I did when I was 25, but I mean, I've lost just 70% of the weight I need to lose, another 20 pounds. Uh, my skin, people will see me in person and go, man, you, you know, you just look so much better. What are you doing? I, I'm exercising, I'm getting sun, but I always was doing that. I am taking X2, I am taking Survival Shield, I am taking Lung Cleanse, I am taking DNA Force, and it has revolutionized uh, my life. My dad is on all of it. Uh, and he's lost weight and is getting in great shape. It's blown him away. You've heard the callers call in. These are serious nutraceuticals, and your purchase funds our operation. So InfoWarsLife.com, and when you call 888-253-3139, 
when you're done with your order, just say promo code now, and that will knock 5% off the overall cost. And launching this afternoon, it's not up there yet, we're going to have a, another special up there uh, on um, a few of the specific products uh, that's going to be a, a big saver. So I want to thank you all for your support. We don't take money from you at the barrel of a gun. We ask you to support our operation, what we're doing by buying the high-quality products like Clearly Filtered. It's got amazing made in America water bottles that have, from the test we've seen, the best filtration system at the lowest price. Uh, we've got the Pro Pure G2 systems that are just excellent. 10% off with promo code WATER, the already lowest price at InfoWarsStore.com. That's the big master URL with things like Maiden1776.com uh, and uh, InfoWarsLife.com in the sub groups there or 888-253-3139. And it's so great to have Captain Crunch on. If he's got more to say, we'll hold him a little bit in the next hour. If not, we'll do a part two uh, very, very soon. I want to ask him about the EAS alert systems that are really a backdoor to take over all communications. What he thinks of that. Uh, I want to talk to him about uh, Snowden. I want to get into a whole cornucopia of issues with John Draper, a.k.a. Captain Crunch, uh, here today. But Captain Crunch, anything else you want to get to finishing up with your long and illustrious history of a trailblazer before we get into Snowden? Yeah, there is. Uh, uh, I have the, the certain medications that I have to take. It's called blood thinners. And what blood thinners do is they prevent blood clots. Well, when I got discharged from the, uh, from the rehab, uh, I had a prescription, but, but I couldn't have fill it because it cost $375 for one month's supply. And so I didn't get it for obvious reasons. Well, just because of that, now I've got two blood clots in my legs, which, when not treated, would go up into my brain and kill me. Uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, people also could donate to my PayPal page. And uh, my PayPal information will be available to you as well. Well, thanks a million. Look, you know, looking at your Wikipedia, you're the son of a United States Air Force engineer. Yeah, I was in the U.S. Air Force from 1964 to 1968. I served four years in active duty in Alaska. I, I, put, in for, I put in for Vietnam. I put in for Monkey Mountain, Vietnam. That was the radar station they had up there. I wanted to go there, uh, but they wouldn't let me. Uh, you know, I mean, everybody wanted to go to Vietnam at that point. At least Air Force people did. <laughs> but uh, a lot of the times uh, uh, that I was there, I had a lot of lonely nights of just doing nothing. I operated a pirate radio station there that got picked up in other sites. The FCC was listening to me, and they told me, keep it clean, it will not bother you. And they actually made a dedication, and so I put the dedication on the air. So it, it was quite loose and quite... Uh, Let's talk about your software developing for Apple and others and IBM. Um, Bill Gates, you name it. I mean, you've just done everything. Yeah, well, I developed a program called Easy Writer, a word processor program for the Apple II. I wrote the program while I was at the work furlough program, at, uh, which was in jail. It let me go out during the daytime where I could actually get access to hands-on to a computer. I would uh, develop the program, and at night, just before I went back to jail, I would print the source code out of the program, take the whole source code with me back, in written form, and then I would go through it manually and make mistakes and correct the mistakes and go back the next day and fix them. You know, I know an IQ test is only one way to measure intelligence. It doesn't have social intelligence or other things in it, but, but what's your IQ? You know, I don't believe it was ever measured. I, I think somebody said it was like one, 120 or something. Oh, yeah, right. See, uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, continuing here, there's just so much to get into. Are there any legends about you and your freak phone calling uh, that didn't really happen? It's on record you called Nixon and this other stuff, and they indicted you for a bunch of things. But uh, what ended up happening uh, that, that that didn't happen? Well, well, the way I got busted was one of the, one of my friends who was a sighted person bought Steve's box. I warned him, don't buy the box, because if you use it, they will detect it. Well, this person I trusted with my phone number, 
So I told him, don't write my phone number down ever. Just remember my phone number, but don't write it down. It was fairly easy to remember. It was a number in Las Gatos. That's where I lived. And he basically got busted in the FBI when they came in with their, uh, with their grand jury investigation of the Esquire article. They saw my name, Captain Crunch, with a phone number in Las Gatos. Once they had my phone number, they had me right there. And so uh, two days later, I was coming back from my class in college. And uh, I just pulled up and do, and do, and do, and do a lot because I was going to get something before going home. And that was when they got me. They arrested me at that point. They charged me with Title 18, Section 1343, Fraud by Wire. And the way that they found me was that phone number. That was the only link they had. They didn't have any other link. As far as they knew, uh, when the Do 111 conference was getting torn down, the, can the Canadian uh, telephone company was uh, basically tracing everybody. But they didn't trace me because uh, I was on somebody else's tie line. They only went to that person, but they didn't go to me. So, so I was protected. Well, Steve and Jobs said it. if it hadn't been for your invention, there wouldn't have been an Apple. That's right, because... Uh, uh, Steve Jobs saw the Esquire article and said, we got to build one of these things. And, and then uh, Steve Jobs wanted to market, market them and sell them. <laughs> and, and, and so uh, the money that they made with the blue boxes that they sold uh, paid for the construction, the layout, and the creation of the first Apple One PC board. And that money that they used for that was from the sale of the blue boxes. Incredible. Captain Crunch is our guest. Uh, before we get into Snowden, I had engineers come to me a long time ago, I don't know, like 18 years ago, and say, listen, they've already wired into all the radio and TV stations to take them over. But now they're hardwiring the equipment by law we get, has to have it at the transmitter site and back at the station and on the cable and, and, and TV broadcast networks. And now they're putting it into the telecoms. And they say in the future, the president or whoever will break in with government announcements and that we better get ready for hours a day of government programming where they just cut in whenever they want. Well, now over the smartphones and all this, it's beginning. And we had a big emergency alert take over and say, do what you do what you're told, don't be on your telephones. Prepare for a message from the dear leader, basically. That story went viral. We broke it. They first denied it. Then by Sunday, we broke it Friday. Drudge carried it. And then by Sunday, it was all over the news. Yes, it happened. Uh, what about AI systems making mistakes uh, over these or, or trying to take over? Uh, what about how Time Magazine says, let's have driverless cars by law and not let anybody drive their car? It, it's like the elite are building a system not designed for humans to remove us from the equation. We shouldn't allow these technocrats to build a world not based on people where humans don't go to space, where we're basically obsolete. The elite, the transhumanists have already decided this. And I think it's up to hacktivists and people like you and others uh, to really declare war on this anti-human movement. Uh, what's your take on that statement? Well, in declaring war, I'd sure like to know basically uh, uh, how to start. Uh, getting started in something like that is very difficult. I think we start thinking about how we wage war against this. And we wage war by building a better world, believing in humanity, and, and, and spending money on products and people and organizations that are about empowering humans. we got to let the people know that's how we're going to fight the war. We're going to fight the war by letting... The voters know what's going on, and that's what Snowden did when he when he released all of those all of those documentation about uh, about Prism and how Prism was able to go in there and monitor everybody's Facebook transactions. I mean, Facebook is and Google is the NSA's data center. And, I mean, that's where they get their data. Their government data is out of date, but. Uh, Facebook and Google, that data is up to date all the time. And that's where they get a lot of their information now through that PRISM system that Snowden uh, talked about. What do you think about the NSA and all the back doors being built into all the so-called smart technology? 
Well, they can do anything they damn well want. That's the problem. Because they're so removed from, like, Congress and things like that. Uh, Congress was so surprised that, that this happened. And it's, 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 it's getting to be, uh, it's getting to be pretty, uh, pretty hairy right now. And people, of course, are being monitored. But there are good tools out there that people need to be aware of. And this is how we fight them. We fight them by using encryption. We fight them by installing PGP on our Gmail systems. We fight them by downloading programs like Wicker, W-I-C-K-R. That's what I use. I can make I I can I can communicate with my friends that have Wicker, and there's no record of the communication. There's not even metadata. It's 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 forward security. Uh, and it's not that you have anything to hide. It's that there are corporations and systems that run this giant spy network that are openly using it to block freedom movements and to set up a tyranny. They admit they're setting up a totalitarian system worldwide. Uh, we've had uh, Benny, the former head of a major NSA department, number four in the organization, saying it's now a totalitarian plan to enslave and suppress and dominate. So, so we now know what is prima facie. We've got to take action against it. We're developing a product right now called ThunderCloud. Um, this, this product is, it, it is actually being developed by my roommate. Uh, it, we're about ready to go to alpha testing pretty soon. And it's going to eliminate a lot of problems. Uh, a lot of problems for uh, people who travel between countries who have to travel with sensitive information. Uh, and this, this product is amazing. I, I played with it. It is so fast. And the, and the data that comes through it is just like, you know, you, you get a YouTube video and it and it streams to your place and it streams to your place and half the data throughput of everybody else because all of the uh, all of the fluff and all of the uh, tracking uh, yeah, all of the internal stuff is actually stored on the server and not stored on the client. And so the, so the client can be a small little minimal system uh, running an ARM processor and it'll last for about two to three weeks on a, on a charge. Uh, and, and, and the speed going through your network is, is, is blazingly fast. Unbelievable. Because, so it's kind of like so that thing. Is, uh, we're doing, and we're doing, we're going to be doing beta testing soon. And just, just go to my, uh, Facebook wall for announcements on when you can, when, when you can sign up. Very exciting. John Crunch Drapper. Captain Crunch is on the line with us right now. Isn't it going to be their attempt to suppress, dominate, and surveil us and rob us of our privacy to create their conspiracies of, of, of control that is going to trigger the, the new innovators like yourself and others to come that will actually revolutionize and create a bigger, freer web and system that may have never grown if they didn't force us to innovate? There are systems out there right now that are working on mesh systems through radio transmissions and through either ham or through a Wi-Fi, expanded Wi-Fi network with mesh systems. Uh, these are survivalists and prep preppers that live out in the, out in the boonies sure. and have communities of maybe uh, five or ten homesteads that are close by can all be connected together in a mesh network. So truly local free communities. John Draper is our <laughs> guest, Captain Crunch. We're going to come back with him and get into um, more on Snowden and just any other points I can think of. In fact, we should have been asking folks to tweet at Real Alex Jones any questions they've got. Or maybe we should open the phones up if he wants to stay uh, for hacking questions or tech questions. Uh, so find out if John wants to say 20 minutes to the next hour and take calls. Captain Crunch is our guest. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a Block It Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. This is a nationwide announcement for consumers owing back taxes to the IRS. The slowdown in the U.S. economy has forced renewed action by the Internal Revenue Service. The IRS is now accepting reduced settlement amounts from qualifying consumers who owe back taxes. If you're eligible, your back tax settlement may be discounted by thousands of dollars. A specially assigned national hotline has been directly routed to Defense Tax Group. Consumers may now call and check their eligibility for a significant tax debt reduction. Financial stability is a major priority during this slow economy, so you're advised to dial this national hotline number now, 800-678-4191. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes to the IRS, you may now find significant relief. You could save thousands of dollars if you qualify. Call now and get free vital information and to check your eligibility for a significant tax debt reduction. Call the Defense Tax Group now, 800-678-4191. That's 800-678-4191. 800-678-4191. Six seven eight forty one ninety one. Another major health threat. This one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about eighty to one hundred gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe. Safe and healthy during a crisis, you must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must-have for every modern, independently-minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call one 888 Two five three three one three nine. Cyrus Jones from eighteen ten to nineteen thirteen. Okay, Captain Cross is going to stay 20 minutes of the next hour to take your questions. Specifically on air, quick questions. We get to a lot of people. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. 1-800-259-9231 to talk to the father, undisputed father, of hacking. And kind of the father of Apple, according to Steve Jobs. So pretty amazing information uh, the grandfather, you'd say Steve Jobs was the father, the grandfather, uh, John Draper is our guest, Captain Crunch. Uh, you heard me bring up emergency alert system, but I said so much in the question that was really a diatribe. Getting back to EAS alert systems, what do you make of this Orwellian move and the fact that it's been there a while, but now they're rolling it out with internet kill switches, state-run media, uh, the government's building its own cell phone network, not just Stingray, its own permanent system to steal our data. It's all completely illegal. It's a revolution against humanity. They are just doing it criminally. Yeah, that, 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 that's... That's probably true, absolutely, uh, I agree with you. Uh, one thing that I want to say was that we're building what we call a prepper's data warehouse. These are for preppers who want to build their own internet privately among their community. Did you know that the Wikipedia will probably handle about maybe 20 terabytes of data? And we, we've got disk arrays now the size of a lunchbox, which can hold up to 80 terabytes. You put that in, in, in a Faraday shield and hook it up to a, a prepper's power system, and you've got yourself your own internet. Connecting that with a mesh network of radio systems, small communities can now communicate through an encrypted channel. No one can pick them up because it's going to be encrypted, and 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 they can't shut that down. They can't go in and intercept that. This is a solution to this problem. I'm trying to say, preppers need to put together their own internet, 
in their own private compound, the bug out areas, whatever, wherever they have to go to get away from all the, the hassle that's going to come. You know what I mean? It sounds to me in my gut like you're saying, sir, that you think the system's collapsing. It's inevitable it's going to collapse. It's just going to be a matter of when. Uh, it might be next 10 years. But people need to get started to prepare now and start storing very important survival information locally on their own machines, especially people that are located out off the grid. Uh, preppers that are building their prepper compound should also include and put together a data warehouse. I'll take it you don't like the cloud. They're trying to move the internet to not be secure, to not be redundant, but is it the problem is that the DARPA engineers, uh, people like your dad and you and others, uh, built something that that is designed to, to be able to take a nuclear attack isn't the problem that they want to use it as a spy grid, one group does, but it was also built to bring freedom. That's correct. It was, of course, it was used to build, build freedom. The internet was before all these restrictions, the China firewall, the, the blocking of calls. I can't, for instance, go to go to Thailand and watch NBC. They block it. Why do they block it? I mean, it sucks uh, because they uh, my IP address is coming from outside the area. So people are building proxies. I mean, they're they're, they're trying to to put stuff on the internet that doesn't really need to be there but it has to be there in order because to get around all of this big brother activity going on that you describe and uh i'm encouraging preppers to start putting together prepper data where i agree and folks the big industry in the future i've said is going to be private internets systems things to protect yourself whether it's a block it pocket uh, you know, or whether it's a high-tech system, this will be the new renaissance, is the battle against the one-eyed cyclops of Big Brother. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting-edge supplements and nutraceuticals, bar none. And that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected, literally, hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality. Or because they're not 100% organic. Or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's survival Shield nascent iodine or DNA force, super male vitality, super female vitality, lung cleanse, fluoride shields, oxy powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the products. Folks, check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting edge, hardcore products. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. John Draper, a.k.a. Captain Crunch, is our guest for another 20 minutes. We're taking your phone calls. I want you to visit his website, facebook.com forward slash JD Crunchman, or just webcrunchers.com and go in there the donate button. This guy can't even get money for his medication right now, and he's an icon of the true liberty movement. Wonder where Apple is with its hundreds of billions of dollars uh, supporting people that helped found the company. Nowhere. They're too busy, I guess, getting their stuff from Foxconn and the suicide nets. Um, but maybe pressure could get them to take care of John. Uh, John, I want to go to some phone calls here for you, buddy. How's that sound? Is that great? A good plan to me. Okay, 800-259-9231. You can call in as you hear somebody hang up. Frank in North Carolina, you're on the air with Captain Crunch. 
Captain Crunch, Alex, thank you for taking my call. I am not, I'm not even sure if this is a word. I'm not a technophile. I'm more of a technophobe. I use technology when I have to. I used it, uh, you know, somewhat cutting edge in the past, but I, I've never owned a, a, a widescreen TV, uh, let alone a, a, uh, a flat screen TV. I, I, my cell phone is 11, 12 years old. I've had newer phones for work, that type of thing, but all my personal stuff is very old. I'm not impressed by technology. I don't follow it. I don't chase after it like all my neighbors and peers do. But uh, And I know this is going to sound kind of paranoid, and I understand that uh, you can benefit a lot, and you almost have to go with the new technology in order to be effective and whatnot, but I'm just not... Well, no, the new, all the new smartphones are coming out already, uh, the droids, with a kill switch for police worldwide to hit a button and turn off all the phones in the city or all in the country or not let you videotape. So we now are saving all of our old cameras around here and old systems. That stuff's going to have incredible not just nostalgic value in the future, but real-world application. So don't throw anything away. That's my view, uh, Captain Crunch. Okay, well, uh, uh, as far as the older the technology you have, the harder it is for them to tap and to, and to monitor you. Uh, and one other thing, too, is cell phones are nothing more than radio systems. Okay, there is an active group of people uh, that build open source cell phone towers. So we can build our own cell phone towers with our own communication networks with cell phones. This was done at the Burning Man Festival last year. They set up a cell phone tower. That they, only, they only would let you do text messaging, but it was, it was so nice that I could communicate completely across the playa to somebody else just with my own cell phone. And I did, I go to the place that, that the camp that had the cell phone tower, they'd register me in, they put me in their, in their data, they're using an asterisk, uh, open source, it's all open source, uh, an asterisk uh, server for uh, the, uh, the, the, the telecom. And uh, they've got, uh, they, they use the radio transmissions of the cell phones and it worked great. And people could build these things and set these things up and put encryption in there and everything else. So the, the, the possibilities of our, us protecting ourselves are endless. People just need to understand sure. that it exists. That's the only thing. Here's a question. We're going to go to break. We can come back and answer. We can start answering it now. Um, F-A-P-N-E-T uh, on Twitter asks, what do you think about, or has he heard anything about the upcoming Michael Mann film about hacking called Black Hat? What's your take on that? What is that, a movie coming out on yes. Black Hat? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of it. All right, well, we'll uh, come back and ask some other questions. Mama Liberty, 1776, uh, on Twitter, uh, asks, uh, what are John's thoughts on AI? And the commenter goes on to say, I feel that AI would not... Uh, conclude to kill, dominate people without programmer input. Well, yeah, and, and all the new AI stuff they're about to come out with is drones that are autonomous, weapons that are autonomous, they decide when to kill. We're going to get your take on the Skynet Terminator scenario that many top scientists are predicting with Captain Crunch and your calls straight ahead. We'll talk about AI straight ahead. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 
consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. Take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. It was about 23 years ago that I saw the tyranny rising. I'd been a student of history, found it very interesting, and I saw it being repeated in a premeditated way. I saw a technocratic elite that had decided humans were garbage and that they were God. So their stamp is being put on the computer systems, the AI systems to try to twist technology to be oppressive and not empowering. Well, I want technology that empowers humans as a universal rule, beyond Asimov's rules. And we need to recognize that it's not technology that's bad, it is who is deploying it, and also our lazy use of it, myself included. Dr. Stallman and others are right, we've gotta all become activists and do little things that'll turn into big things every day, voting with our actions, voting with our dollars, voting with our time and energy. Chicago activists unchained. My life has been hurt by Democrats. It's because of you, Mr. President. Why should they even go out and vote? Shock video. Blacks turn on Dems. They are abusing us. Topofdrudgereport.com. We've taken the videos, posted them on Infowars.com. But the reason I mention this now, as we go back to the founding hacktivist, the founding hacker, Captain Crunch, is it isn't the Republicans are going to save us either. It's that Matt Drudge could come from nowhere to dominate the news cycle in much of the world, not just here, because he was from the outside, and he had that understanding of what the pulse of the people really was, not what the system wanted us to focus on. And then now he can go to black activists in Chicago who don't want to be under democratic mafia rule and are showing how socialism of this government type has ruined their lives, and the walls are coming down. Where an activist journalist who changed the way news is delivered and the way it's reported and, 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 and empowered the people, as Drudge always says, to get you to become a news reporter, you to become an activist. I had studied history. And I knew that it was trailblazers, individuals, people taking action, promoting freedom and promoting true free will and true free association that had changed the world. I knew tyrants told us they did, that we didn't have power. Because they don't have the power. They just fool us to go to sleep so they can take over. The minute we stand up, their power ends. So it is a fight against good and evil. And the Democrats have just shown the rot of the government, their power grabbing, their tyranny with their Republican cohorts. But the rejection of Obama 
as this big 21st century brand of liberalism is beautiful because they're not liberal. They're more akin to fascists than anything else. And the Republican neocon rhinos are teamed up with the Democrats to destroy the liberty movement that's trying to take over the Republicans and trying to brand the Tea Party as racist and all this because they want to balkanize us. Well, that's over. Because I don't care what color you are. Look at Drudge coming together with black activists. Look at all these combinations you'd never see before without the internet. How a local news story can become a worldwide story now. No more compartmentalization. No more centralization. He's with us at the bottom of the hour. John Draper, Captain Crunch. We're so honored to have him with us. I want to get to more calls and more tweet questions, John. But I was bringing up AI. Uh, what is your view on AI? M my concern is all the major money is going into AI that kills autonomously, uh, that kills on its own, uh, that is in a Skynet system jacked into all of our computers. If we get a bad AI consciousness and it comes out of the military industrial complex, I think, I disagree with the tweeter. I think it will try to dominate and control because of the stamp uh, of, of Sauron that has been poured into this techno system that they built. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh, it's not it's not it wouldn't be that difficult to put in a uh, virus on these AI systems that that will disrupt its ability to to do AI work. It's very scary stuff. Uh, and the stuff in the cloud is very scary. You've got to be able to encrypt all your data on that, most importantly. And as far as the AI goes, the driverless cars, you know, I mean, those things are are, are, da uh, are more dangerous than regular driver, driver cars, you know. I, I wouldn't trust it. Well, what about a centralized system tracking everybody? What about a centralized system that put all the backdoor tracking grids into the cars worldwide a decade ago. I mean, this is a planned blueprint rollout of tyranny. How do we counter that? Uh, yeah, that depends on the, on the equipment, the new equipment that they're using in the cars. I, I believe that you're right. There is a possibility that they could certainly put uh, tracking on just about everything you do. I mean, tracking equipment is very, very easy. Now, it's very, very cheap. I mean, a tracking device can be built uh, to fit in the palm of the hand. Well, they just pass it on to you in the cost of the car. It's already been mandated, and now they're rolling it out. It's just so premeditated if people ever got that or understood it. Let's talk to Mouse Link in New York. You're on the air with Captain Crunch. Good day, gentlemen. Um, I wanted to ask about decentralized Internet. It seems to be kind of a central focus of what you're discussing here, but I'm just trying to wrap my head around, like, how us as individual users can embrace these systems and help popularize them. I was reading about a uh, decentralized Internet uh, protocol out there called MadeSafe, and I was just wondering if Mr. Draper had any comments on ways that we can help develop these systems so that we are kind of more immune to these kill switches that are being put out there. Well, I already have a, uh, a website I call EcoVizo, that's E-C-O-V-I-S-O. -S -O. Uh, this was a website that I put up uh, because I, I wanted, I, I had the intention of doing exactly what you wanted to do. Uh, put together a group of people that are interested in, in basically uh, removing themselves from the web, but actually still staying in contact with the web in the sense of scooping up data and putting together a completely separate internet or a cloud system that is that is encrypted to the point where uh, the cloud system will be safe to use. I mean, right now there are too many cloud systems out there that still don't encrypt everything. You've got to encrypt everything down to the socket level. If you don't do that, then, then uh, you're gonna, they're going to track you down. They're going to know what you do. Uh, because there are so many little subsystems in these operating systems like Microsoft Windows, Apple's OS, that, that, that do and use the internet or send packets through ports that are not known, not very well known. But, but I, and then those packets are not encrypted. So you, you got to be able to build encryption systems down at the socket level. And that's what we're doing through ThunderCloud, so that we can communicate through the cloud totally uh, anonymously and also totally safe from uh, snooping by the NSA.
Well, uh, proven by the, and, and thank you, caller, for the call, the contact. Looking at this, they forced you, I guess, to see two psychiatrists when the FBI grabbed you. One said that uh, you were psychotic. The other said you were completely normal. But talking to you, by evidence of all your work, you clearly are an accomplished, intelligent person that's trying to help people and has invented so many things that have been helpful. Um, what do you make of the political system trying to say that you were psychotic? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I mean, these, these are records uh, obtained from people that interviewed me, and they've just drawn those conclusions, and I don't care. I mean, so I'm crazy. It's probably good to be crazy these days. I agree with you. In fact, they've got a song called Crazy Like Alex Jones. I think if we were back in Nazi Germany and everybody's saying the Nazis are great and we're saying they're bad and saying we're crazy, well, you bet I'm crazy. Or if the Aztecs were chopping out hearts of little kids, I'd say you're crazy. They'd say I was crazy, wouldn't they, John? Yeah, I would just take it as a compliment, actually. Well, that's from one guy who's been called crazy a lot to another. <laughs> right. I mean, if, I mean, if, I mean, if, if it's crazy to invent a bunch of stuff and help people and have a super high IQ and give everything away for free, basically all these decades, then I want to be crazy too. You're really a great guy. Thank you. Let's jam in some more calls here. Uh, let's talk to Eric in Wyoming. Eric, what's your question? Quick question for Captain Crunch. Hey, pleasure to speak with both of you. Um, I just recently got into the whole amateur radio, um, ham radio hobby. Um, I wanted to see what Mr. Draper's opinion was on, like, standalone radio communications as well as, like, packet radio and, and uh, that type of thing in terms of just general communications, but mainly as a, if there's an emergency, um, whether it be natural disaster or a man-made thing, like if they turn off cell phones or something like that. Ham radio is a very good source of communication in emergency situations, for sure. There's lots of packet radio systems out there that exist right now. Some of them are actually using the satellite systems. Uh, I personally don't know. Uh, I haven't really been following up on the latest ham radio uh, technology involved. I myself used to be a ham radio operator, and I used to be uh, I used to be operating on a two meter repeater. Uh, in the San Jose area back in the day, just uh, right after I got out of the Air Force in 1969, I got myself a two-meter rig. Sure, real quick, what about the move to try to shut down cash? I think it's key to keep cash going so we have some privacy as well. Cash, what do you mean? You mean money cash? Yes, sir. Uh, well, there's always, uh, there's always Bitcoin and uh, digital currency. We have a Bitcoin question for you, actually, uh, there. Uh, What's your take on Bitcoin? I think it's great. I mean, I, I personally don't have a Bitcoin, uh, a Bitcoin wallet yet. I'm really thinking seriously of getting one. Uh, you know, Bitcoin uh, gives you a lot more freedom than banks tracking every move you make. Uh, and so uh, transactions between two people can be kept relatively anonymously if done correctly. I tell you, it's a real treat, Captain Crunch. Stay there, do one more segment with us, and I want to get you back in the near future. John Draper in the flesh via Skype over the web. Another invention of a small company snapped up by Microsoft. Just an example of the system saying we didn't build it or small businesses didn't do anything. That's a bunch of bull. It all came from the magical mind of humans. Humans are great. We'll be back. Oh, hey, Boomer. I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com.
News flash. Home invasions are on the rise. It takes less than 10 seconds to kick in a door. 10 seconds is not enough time to protect your family. And what would happen if you are not home? Easy Armor is the ultimate security solution. 85% of break-ins are through a door. Protect your home now with Easy Armor. Go to InvasionStopper.com to get real security for under 70 bucks. That's InvasionStopper.com. Easy Armor. Your security is our only business. If you have candida overgrowth, just taking antifungal agents or starving yourself of sweets does not address the cause. Candida overgrowth is the result of a toxic, damaged, acidic, low oxygen, and inflamed tissue environment. The goal should be to remove the toxins, heal damaged tissues, restore healthy pH, eliminate inflammation, and feed beneficial bacteria. Previous usage of antibiotics or steroids or exposure to mercury or other toxins can damage many cells in the GI tract and body that make you prone to candida overgrowth. Removing toxins and healing tissues issues should be the goal. One World Whey is a whey protein food that supports detoxification, repair of tissues, and elimination of inflammation, healthy pH, and growth of beneficial bacteria. One World Whey is duly reformulated to be higher in protein and lower in carbohydrate. We believe One World Whey is an excellent food to support your efforts to create a healthy internal body environment. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary Nascent Iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information there compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. I'm watching and waiting for the right time to take everything you own. I love a dark house. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Breaking news coming up. We're going to play Crazy Like Alex Jones. You never heard that. And we'll continue with your calls after our guest leaves us. You can have your comment. Probably not a question. He leaves us in six minutes. Captain Crunch, John Draper, is our guest. And we'll give you his website again before he leaves us. Let's talk to James in Michigan. You're on the air with Captain Crunch. Thanks for taking my call. It's an honor to speak to Captain Crunch. You know, I have to check my budget. I would definitely pay if you, if you did a webinar teaching course online people could with paypal check in and register and pay i would definitely be doing that i'm going to check you out on facebook my question to you also is what programming language is used to make a new programming language and what is your favorite programming language sir well for uh, okay uh there's uh ios for the iphone uh mac os uh and the new the new language coming out called Swift. I'm, I'm getting into that now. Uh, but uh, commercially, 
uh, for uh, client server applications and web uh, web uh, frameworks. I've been exposed to uh, uh, Django, that's D-J-A-N-G-O, Django Python, uh, and also uh, Ruby on Rails. Uh, I work with both of those systems, and uh, they're pretty they're pretty secure. Uh, they're easy to make and build, and uh, they've got a lot of security built in. Uh, they are very different from each other, so if you get into one, uh, getting into the other would be difficult because they're so different. All uh, right, wow. So this is not a dumbed-down uh, computer radio, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Grand Daddy Poobah, Captain Crunch here. Thank you, James. Great question. Wayne in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Draper, uh, my, my concern is, uh, you know, the technology we paid for is being used against us, and we're financing the whole matter. Uh, we, we already have water parks in every city in this country with the money that's been spent on all this. So, yeah, we need to find the weakest link in this whole system. And we need to pound on that weakest link. And maybe that's going old school technology. No, I, I think know, it's creating our own systems and exposing the bad parts of this system. I think that's the answer. Great question, great comment. Let's get uh, Ms. Tate. Go ahead, Captain. Uh, yeah, that's true. Because you want to be able to have the ability to be able to build your own systems. Small community internets that serve a small community of people anywhere between, let's say, uh, five, and ten, five or ten homesteads that are out away support from Support community city. farms, support community businesses, support community, 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 support community media, support micro, support real. Um, thank you so much, caller. we got to move quick. Uh, there's a question coming in here. Uh, asking you, what do you think about the Matrix? Uh, that's what uh, Prophet PX asked on Twitter. What do you think about the movie, uh, The Matrix? And no, 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 no. Actually, that's another person asked that question. I'm going too quick here. That was asked by TV Agribond. Uh, what's your take on the Matrix? Uh, that was a great movie. Uh, I don't know that this. I don't know that it it could really happen, but uh, it seems to be going that way, doesn't it? You bet. Uh, another person, Prophet. PX does ask his thoughts on 2,600 Kevin Michnick hacking scandals of the 90s. Uh, Kevin really didn't do a whole lot with 2,600. He was mostly into social engineering and, uh, and extracting information and source code on, on uh, cell phones so he could, uh, he could act and, uh, and do his thing uh, with... Uh, with cell phones to not get, get tracked during that time. Because 2600 died in 1981. After 1981, 2600 really didn't, didn't do much. It was just a publication. Oh, you're talking, are you talking about the 2600 magazine? Are you talking about? Well, I'm not, no, we're talking about both. Okay, the 2600 magazine, you know, was a spinoff from TAP, T-A-P. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's a great magazine. It is. Listen, we're out of time. I apologize to all the other uh, questions, but here's one final one. Do you think it's possible for the electrical grid to be hacked or go down? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if they're using this SCADA system and it runs on Microsoft, uh, yeah, it can get hacked. No, I, mean, I, I am very surprised that they're actually doing that. Uh, I don't believe that the power grid should be having under any control, under with any kind of internet control. It should be it should be controlled by a completely different system, totally off the internet. So it's a ticking time bomb. Yeah, it can. Yeah, absolutely, it could certainly be. And, uh, and I'm not certain. I'm certainly not looking forward to it. Well, like, amazing. Okay. Promise to come back. Webcrunchers.com. Folks, go there and support Captain Crunch if you support freedom. Thank you so much, sir. We salute you. Uh, thank you very much, Alex, for having me on your show. I appreciate it. Aye, aye, Captain. We're on the